which includes this next pair. Lubav Ilyashashkina and Dylan Moskovich of Canada. We saw Christian Moore Towers and Michael Marnaro, and we mentioned how Moore Towers has been here before. It was with Dylan Moskovich, twice finishing fourth at Worlds. And now with his new partner, Lubav, they are sitting eighth after the short program. Success today will rely on trust. And I don't mean between Dylan and Luba. I mean between Luba and, and Luba. Luba. <laughs> oh, my God. oh. Luba was struggling on the warm up with her side by side jumps, but nailed it when it matters. I think there was a little celebration in that choreographic hug. Luba has some of the most beautiful positions in the air, some of the most original ones that I've ever seen. And a lot of that comes from her. She's very inventive, participates in the choreography, and Dylan just sets her off like a perfect frame. And very flexible. Mm -hmm. A lot of strategy goes into this sport more than people would ever dream. An interesting moment coming up, the triple Sakau individual effort, solo jumps. Are you gonna plan double or go for triple? The triple wasn't good in warm up. Looked like she was going to go for the three. Didn't get it. Look at the speed Dylan's carrying through that lift. But how quickly she gets into that position and how easily. Both doing their jobs to perfection. Oh, she made that look super easy. amazing I never know whose job it is but you can actually slow or speed up your spin to match your partner that spin was starting to get off and they brought it back Nobody does this better than Dylan. The crossover's in the lift. One foot. Strong as an ox, but more handsome. <laughs> Got a 
love this moment. You've earned it. Lubav Ilyashchkina and Dylan Moskovich of Canada. We saw them meditating together before the skate. Whatever energy they shared, it worked. We will have the Canadians' marks when we return here on CBC Sports. Ilyashchkina took to the ice here in Boston for the three skates. Last year they were 13th at Worlds. This is only their second season together. Both times ended up on the podium at Nationals, which is why they've earned their spot here. And they're looking good. Well, the other thing at play is that Canada wants to get three spots in the World yes. Championship again next year. So if we can keep our, our numbers up, if, they, if we get all three teams in the top ten, we should be able to do it, which would be great for Canadian pairs. And Lubov is the perfect pair partner. She has extension. She has the face. She's got flexibility. Everything. Flexibility. She's got guts. What she wasn't having is belief and consistency in her individual efforts on the ice. As soon as she's touching Dylan, everything's go. As soon as she lets go of him, she was inconsistent. Not this week. Not at Worlds. She pulled it together. I think she's learned a lot about herself this week. Well, he and looks like he's really patient with her. He yeah. is. Um, but also, let's throw it out there, Dylan's been really injured with a hip. He didn't want people to know. What happened today was a miracle on both ends. So congratulations, you two. Well, their season's best is 117.70. Let's see if they can do better than that. Oh, yeah. 131. So their total of 199.52 will actually put them in second. That's a happy little camper sitting right there. With <laughs> Flexing those little muscles. <laughs> I did good. <laughs> How can you not love that face? The Russians still holding on to the lead, though. Stolbova and Klimov. 